Thursday. Wrapping up that coffee mix. It's 826. It's power. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Good morning. It's going to be partly cloudy today. Chance of a shower, a thunderstorm later on this evening. High of 72. And we want to welcome Coach Chad in studio welcome with back. the Delmarva Aces 13 yes. U Coastal. Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I, I like your Aces gear on. Yeah, yep. I'm Looking you sharp. Yours. I know. You know what? <laughs> sharp. But you know what? I have so much. I have so much. So okay. I, I, uh, I, I, I wore it out. up some. Time. I wore it out this weekend, you okay. know, because we right. had that big tournament that we came through winning, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, my son plays for the Delmar Aces 14U 2028. Okay. And, uh, you know, you said you were right down the street from us this, this yeah, weekend? Yeah, we were. We were down the street from you guys. We ended up taking second place through the tournament. Nice. Okay. Very yeah. good. So, very good. That's what sucks. So, yeah. it's better than nothing. Well, look, uh, <laughs> Coach Chad is with, uh, again, the Delmarva Aces team. You guys uh, are 13U Coastal. Yes. Um, you coach with Coach Rob, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. How, how's your team looking this year, man? Uh, we're looking excellent. Um, I think we got we going places with this team. Yeah. Um, you know they're still young, they're still learning and developing. Um, we just gotta get some more things down pat, and then I think we'll be straight. Nice, yeah. nice. So who, who are some of your uh, key players that you know you look uh, at? I got one. He's uh, I think he goes to was it Chipman? I think his name's Jerron. His name's Jerron. Okay. And then I have uh, Ty, and then there's a couple kids from Cape. Uh, I mean, the whole team is. Yeah. I can't single any one of them mm-hmm. out. Yeah. The whole team yeah. is. They're a family and they're all good. You know right. What I mean? Right. Um, I, we do have one player. He's been sick, so he wasn't able to make the last tournament, uh, Thor. But uh, hopefully he can make you know the car show the next couple of tournaments. And yeah. He get sick, so. mm-hmm. Well, you um, this is, is this is your first year with Aces. Yes. Uh, first full year with Aces, and you know you you coached in the past in another organization. Yeah. Uh, but this year you're doing a lot more traveling than yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. It's you a know, lot more with Aces. Uh, like like how how do you like it? How's it going with uh, <clears throat> Dave I'm and everybody? To, I'm still trying to get used to the schedule. Okay. Before that, um, yeah. Now that my youngest is playing baseball, it's like all right. What weekend is he playing? Is yeah. that a weekend that I'm away or I'm at Sports at the Beach or what? Like his opening day is the same day as the car show. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to make any of his right. games on for opening day. Right. So it's just like, all right, um, what do I do? But I have to be at the car show. Because... There's there's a lot of opening day for <laughs> yeah. Little Leagues coming I was like, yes. how can this I Saturday? split myself yes. into two people yeah, so yeah, I can yeah. do yeah. both? And yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know how to do it. It's, it's crazy because I made the car date car show date for april 13th right and then she comes home like hey you know his opening day is the 13th. oh same day and i was like oh man um how do i know i know, I I do know. This? And she was like don't worry about it i'll be there because right. she's the team mom of his team so she was like i'll be there you just go take care of the car show that's your thing right you need to be there for that so i'm like all right cool very so I, good I think we got it all down pat yeah i think we did. so how, how old is your uh son? my youngest one is nine nine I mean, well he'll be no, he'll be eight this coming up. July. Okay. Yeah. So, are they, they going to get him involved with the travel ball with, well, the, with the aces and that stuff? That is the talk. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. For next season, yes. Um, they are talking possibly me taking a nine U team. Yeah. So I, we'll see what happens. I mean, I already knew, like like when you said that, I already knew that there was yeah. going to be talks. Eventually, of, a shift will you know, happen because yeah, yeah, then yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. be, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, to- it's totally I mean, different, man. I, and I also already know Jess that he is already recruiting. Yeah. I already know that. He don't even got to tell me. I already know he's thinking about because you know the that, eyeballs look, are out. Yeah, th- those I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching. those nine news are out for blood. Yes. I already know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're coming to take. Yes. Yes. So your uh, thirteen you coastal team this year uh with coach rob and yourself um what kind what, what tournaments are you guys uh looking forward um, so, to coming up so or? far we've been to three sports at the beach we took second place there okay nice um, we uh the last one we went to was in pa okay um we took was it first place? i think we took first place there right um and then no i'm sorry that wasn't the first place one first place one was at in fruitland Got it. We took that oh, nice. one, and then we went upstate to PA. We took second place there. Okay. And we took second place this last weekend. So y'all are filling this up the trophy good. rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're filling it up. Um, like my first tournament with these guys um, was actually the first championship. So it was nice. Like, it was pretty cool Gosh, to actually what see a great these guys. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, just come yes. into the organization, and then right off the bat, you get a championship. Yeah. So that that was pretty fun. So it, it was. I'm, I'm just waiting. 
Pigeon yeah, no, that's Forge awesome. Wouldn't want to wait for right there. So that's yeah, that, that's you guys' big one this year. Pigeon yeah, Forge. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, just a couple things real quick about Pigeon Forge when you guys go down there. Word of advice because we went twice. Mm-hmm. My son played. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's great. We we had a great time. There's a lot to do. Yeah. A lot to do down in Pigeon Forge. You said you guys are going uh, in July. July 28th. Yeah. To August 2nd. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a big water park down there, and I mean within there's like a main strip. Within like a half mile radius, wow. there's so much stuff. No, I mean like just within a half mile radius on that long strip, there's so much stuff jammed in that half know. mile. I mean, you will never get bored in Pigeon Forge. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this age group, you don't want them to get bored. No, I mean, they have so many amusement shows. Um, I mean, restaurants and just places to go. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So and that's what this car show is all about, just to help them. So we can, you know, get over there. And- yeah, yeah. Well, again, uh, we, we the big car show is coming up this Saturday. Now, you did this uh, in the years past with your previous organization. Yes. Now you're bringing it over to the Aces, which is awesome. Uh, we're going to be out there this Saturday. So uh, kind of give us the rundown uh, for the Saturday and, right. and tell us about it. <clears throat> so uh, I know Jessica and you guys like food. So Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> so... Um, I got uh, my good buddy Uncle B's Kitchen. He's coming back. Yes. Um, I got Amy's Grill. Um, I have upscale crab and seafood. I don't know if you ever seen his truck. Jessica yes. might have, Well, I don't know. Yeah. The way she drives, she might just zoom by. <laughs> <and> saw it. <laughs> right. So, right. We, were, we did see them out. We had a remote at Cape Henlopen High School when they were set up. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. This guy, so he's actually going to bring his actual food truck and his live crabs. Okay. So oh, wow. So he should be able to purchase live crabs while what? he's there. Oh, good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So bring your money if you want some crabs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and then we have Hammerhorn just coming back and... Um, I also have uh, Brandywine Valley uh, SPCA. They're coming out also. Okay. Um, I, I reached out to them. I said, hey, if there's an opportunity for you guys to do this, if you can. And she got back with me. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. So that's coming out. Um, we have the gun raffle. We have a uh, bike raffle. We have uh, two gift cards to Monarchy for one alignment on your vehicle. Okay. Um, we're going to have... <laughs> I'm raising my hand for that one. Right. Um, we, we got something different with the trophies. Um, last, the couple years before, I did top 20. Um, so I've been doing some research throughout the winter, and I noticed that the more trophies you ask, you know, you get, the more people you can have come out. Um, so we're going to do the top t- uh, 50 trophies. Oh, wow. Trophies. That's excellent. Yeah, so the grand champion of the whole entire thing, not only get a trophy, but it gets $500. Oh, nice. So, uh, That's and then really nice. The first 100 cars come in and get, get a uh, dash plaque, so... Very good, very good. Again, it's the Delmar Vases 13U uh, car show going down this Saturday, 8.30 to 3.30, Hudson Fields, 29763 Eagles Crest Road in Milton. All the proceeds go to the players of uh, the Delmar Vases 13U team, and that's to you know help out with you guys with the tournaments mm-hmm. and yeah, you know that kind of stuff, right? Everything, um, tremendously, because um, even though the Aces is a big organization, but like you have some families that can't. Mm-hmm. Can't afford everything. Right. So this is what this fundraiser is for to help out with the team. Yeah. And I mean, look, any travel sport that you do, uh, there's a lot of costs that comes with it. You know, I mean, not only just, you know, the tournaments, but then you got to, you got the uniforms. Yeah. The hotels, the travel. I mean, yeah. You you've said you've already been you know over the bridge a couple of times Pennsylvania yeah. you got in the big tournament this year you're going to Tennessee yeah so yeah, I mean, um, it's a it's a costly thing um it you got to love this game yeah to mm-hmm. be willing to do this and that's one thing I do know that I love I love doing this watching kids grow up and then as they get older you are like man I coached that kid yep. all the time you yeah know? so it's just a good feeling to watch these kids play out in the ball field you know I mean it's one thing after another but um. We're just hoping this is a good turnout and go from there. I mean, I got people calling me from Virginia asking, can we bring this car? Can we bring that? I'm like, look, everything's a bit, you know, can come. Yeah. I mean, I think I mentioned to you yes. one time, like, if anything, if it's got to be towed. <laughs> hey, bro, I remember you said that. Sale, yes. Just bring it. Yeah. yeah. As everything is welcome. This is a fundraiser. I'm not being picky on what kind of car it is. I mean, if you got an old student breaker that's been in the barn for a hundred years and it doesn't run, bring it. Bring it. Yeah. Just, you know, just brush the dirt off of it a little bit so we can see the color if it has the color still. Right. But just bring it. You know, it just it's just a fun thing. And I like doing this. This is something I had to think outside the box when I first mm-hmm. did this. And, you know, everyone does the pizzas. They do the uh 
the Christmas tree raffle, which I've done also. Um, but you just got to think outside the box or fundraisers. Mm. And I believe this was one way to do it. And then Hudson Fields. Yeah, Hudson Field is... It's yeah, known, you know, yeah, to have great events area. there. Yep. Yeah, you have a few people that call me like, hey, where's Hudson Field? And I'm like, you don't know anything about Hudson Field? They're like, no, where is it? So I describe, oh, you mean that big old place? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's where it's at. So yeah, yeah. But this year, they... Um, we're actually going to be sharing the field with the lacrosse team. So we, okay. got, we got double booked, but I told all the food vendors to bring plenty of food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you're going to have the parents from the lacrosse teams, and then you're going to have the car show. So it's going to be a good turnout. So, so, that's, so that's people awesome. can just show up and, and get you in. You can just show up. Um, we got all types of vendors. We got. Um, I mean, like as far as like a car, if they want to enter their car, they don't have they, to pre-register, nothing like that? They don't have like to that. pre-register. All I'm asking, if you want to register to try to get a top 50 uh, trophy, I will have a registration booth. Okay. Just fill out the card, put it in your window. The judges will come by and take care of the rest. Nice. While I'm doing everything else. Uh, And, I mean, it says here, I mean, you know, any kind of car, like you said, classic cars, lifted trucks, motorcycles, tractors. Yeah, everything is welcome. I had a guy call me yesterday about side-by-side. I'm like, dude, tell the guy, yes, anything is welcome. Yeah. Lawn mowers. <laughs> Lawn mowers. <laughs> Bicycle. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, you can bring your little moped, scooter. I mean, anything, you know, it's... It's all about the kids, so that's what we're doing this for. So it's all about them. You've also got some sponsors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm one of the sponsors on there, which is Country Boy Home Repairs. And then I have my cousin, Uncle B's Kitchen. And then Brimminghorn, they're a big one. They've been out there for me for the last couple of times. And then we have uh, Delmarva, uh, Southern Delmarva Signs. Okay. Uh, he makes all the banners for us. And nice. Stuff like that, so. Nice. Yeah. This is great. Um, again, uh you know, Chad, you've been doing this for years. It's been a success. Mm-hmm. You guys raise a lot of money, yeah. you know, for um, the team. And uh, so you said it's free admission. Anybody can just show up. The money Anybody can show up. It, the money that you get is from the entries. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So very and, good. Um, you know, we get the money also from the food vendors. Like what I don't I don't say it's a charge because they always say, well, how much is the charge? Right. And I it's just like a donation. It, yeah. I reword it to them and say it's a donation. It's right. not a charge. You're just donate. You're just donating to the team to yeah. say yes. I'm going to be there to support you guys. Right. Same way with the small vendors, craft vendors. Um, we have uh, I think they're called Monkey Munchkin Popcorn. Okay. She's right outside of Georgetown. Um, she's been there the last two times and she's nice. coming back. Um, I and it a, smells so good. Yeah, I have a petting zoo. Hudson Field coming. just transformed. A petting zoo. Yeah, I got oh. a petting zoo. So coming. this is like a variety show. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, this is new. <laughs> yeah, so, so we had a petting zoo last year, and I got a petting zoo this year coming. Um, I'll, like the SBCA is also coming. I also have, um, I can't even think of the lady's name, but uh, she she's doing something like, she just makes baseball cups. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know, like the tumblers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she just makes the cups for all types of teams and everything like that. So she's coming out. Um, I also have, he just got this vehicle done. It was an old ambulance. And he turned it into a, don- a donut. Uh, what? Oh. Truck. So wow. he's going to be there. Wow. So, okay. Uh, wow. So, so that is have, creative. We're going to have some food out there. So if you get hungry. And yeah, do something come, come hungry. Yeah, just yeah, <laughs> come hungry and you know just help out in fifty fifty raffles and stuff like that. We might have all types of stuff. Well, we're gonna be out there broadcasting live as well, yeah. eleven to one. So come on out. Uh, Top's called off DJ team myself, and uh, it's gonna be good. It's the first car show that I, I've been at. This Every is other time, the first time having both of y'all in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the last couple times uh, at, the, at the car shows, we've been on tournaments. Yeah, I think the first time I came in, you was a Way in yeah, Florida. and then the next time I came in, it was just you and you was away in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so something's going down on in Florida that I need to go check out. <laughs> right, right. Well, look uh, again. Uh, it's going to be a good time again. The Saturday, April thirteenth, eight thirty to three thirty, Hudson Fields, two nine seven six three Eagles Crest Road in Milton. Um, you got that this weekend. When's your next tournament? Our next tournament is not the twentieth, but the following weekend. Okay, and so where, we where are you guys big, at? We are, I don't have my schedule on me, but I believe we are at Sports at the Beach. Okay. Okay. I know nice. we have a few at Sports at the Beach, and the rest are like, we just move it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, my suitcase has not left our bedroom 
Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. It's standing up next to the dresser. Yep. I just throw it on the bed, put my stuff in it, and I'm out the door. Uh, well, wait till you coach a couple teams next year. <laughs> <laughs> wait till you coach a couple teams next year. You wait till your so, son's on the team and you well, have his suitcase, Rob too. Does. I don't know how he does it, but he's coaching two teams. So wow, he's, yeah. he's coaching the art, you know, our age group, and then he has the older boys. So I don't know how he's doing it, but... This man, he's moving. Yeah, so he, he's yep. he's doing it, and he's a good coach. So yeah, I, I really appreciate him helping out. So no, that's really great. Good. That's great. And and your team's gonna be out there. People can come meet your team. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I got parents involved. Um, I got the players involved. Um, you know, just you know, parking the cars, mm-hmm. make sure everybody's good. Uh, you know, players gonna walk around with the fifty fifty rifle. Yeah. Uh, you know, just you know, get them out there so people can see what they look like and who they are. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, just. Just to experience something like this. No, know? that's awesome. Because I remember the last time we talked, you was like, you know, aces, wake up. This is something we need to do. Well, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Again, uh, Delmarva Aces 13, you coastal team. Uh, Coach Chad, again, shout out to Coach Rob and the whole team. Um, a- anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Uh, the weather's going to be great, so come on out. Um I'm just ready for this because my living room looks like a car show. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so I'm sure the, you're chicken with the, your head cut off. Yeah, I got the bicycles in there. I got the trophies in there. I, I think I have everything I need for the car show except for the tables in my living room. Yeah. It, what, it started into the bedroom and now it's into the and living room. And now it's room. moving its way yeah, yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the kitchen also and that moved out. So it's all in the living room. So I'm just waiting for this day to happen. Um, of course, I'm going to be out there at 6, 6, 6, 6 6.30 is when I'm going to be there. Mm-hmm. So if you want to come out and set up a little early, they can, you know, get a good spot and just have a good time. And Very good. How, and how's the weather great. look? Weather look okay? Uh, yeah, the weather looks pretty good. Um, I think the last I looked at was like 69, I think it was. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't see any rain. and uh, That's the only thing I was hoping for. No rain. No I'm rain, rain, I know. No. <laughs> looks good in the 60s. So. Yeah, yeah. Good. Six, that's even better. I mean, it's... You know, 69, if the sun comes out, you're still going to get a little tan. So we, we'll be straight. I think. Yeah. I think we'll be good. Coach Chad, thank you so much for coming yes, in. Sir, we appreciate you, it. Thank you. Absolutely. It's 843. Throwback Thursday continues next. <laughs>